Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn on file sharing for your Mac computers so that you can easily transfer files and folders from one Mac computer to another Mac and you can put it on an external drive. You can put it underneath another folder on that other Mac. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the computer that you're actually going to share all the files and the folders or the volumes on. And we're going to go over to that computer and set it up so that it can actually share. And then we're going to come back to the computer that you want to connect from and connect to the one you're wanting to connect to so that I can show you how you would pull up those files and folders. So I'm going to jump over to the other computer so that you can see that and we're going to set up those shared folders and files and volumes. Okay, so I'm connected to the computer where I'm going to share the files, folders, and volumes. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the top left of your screen and click on the Apple menu. And then you want to go to your system preferences. Now once you open up the system preferences, you want to go to the sharing icon. Once you're in the sharing icon, there's a section called file sharing. You want to go ahead and you want to turn this on. Now, as you can see, I don't have any shared folders at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one. So I'm going to click on the plus, And what I'm going to do is on the left side, there's a bunch of different volumes that I can select from. So the one I'm going to click is the IT 101 and I'm going to click add. Now, right there, it added it as one of the shared folders. And over here, I can choose what users I want to allow to access this volume. And I can add more users, and that way they can have different read and write privileges. So you may only want one person to be able to read it, whereas you want another person to be able to read and write to it. For most of you, I'm assuming, you would just want to have the user of that main computer that you're sharing from be added as one of the users. So right here you see system administrator. We're just going to leave the system administrator and leave it as read and write. But if you did want to add another user, you could click plus and you could go in here and you could select different users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I don't need to add anybody else. I'm going to leave the system administrator as read and write. And then I've already got the IT 101 folder shared. So what I'm going to do is I've done everything I need to on the computer I'm sharing from. Now I'm going to go back to the other computer that I want to connect from. And I'm going to show you how you can get connected to this computer. Okay, so now I'm back on the computer that I want to connect from. And I'm going to connect to the other one where I actually shared that IT 101 volume. So what I do is I click on the finder down here in the bottom left corner. Now yours may be in a different spot. If it is, that's okay. And then you're just going to scroll down until you see the computer that you want to connect to. Now mine just happens to be called server. Now what you want to do is you want to connect as the system administrator because that was the one that I had set up on that other computer. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and my password. And you'll put in whatever username and password is on that other computer that's sharing the files, the folders, or the volumes. And then I'm just going to click on connect. Now, as you notice, it put a bunch more in there that I didn't really need. The only one I cared about was the IT101. So if I go into it, as you'll see, I have a bunch of folders and I can just add anything I want to that folder. But that's how you would go in and you would share a volume, you can do the same with a folder on the one computer and then you can pull it up on the other computer. The biggest thing you have to make sure of when it asks for the username and the password, you want to use the username and the password on the computer that you are sharing from. So the one that actually has, in my case, the IT101 volume you want to use that username and password, not the one on the computer you're currently on. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below so I can answer them. This, I want to be able to make sure that you can easily 
connect two computers and you can share files between the two. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope that was helpful on how to turn on your Mac file sharing so that you can easily transfer files and folders from one Mac and you can easily put it on another Mac's hard drive or external hard drive so that you can easily access it on that other computer. So until next time, please like and subscribe and I'll see you then. Bye.